Hey guys, Jamie here, keeping it coy. Welcome back to the channel, and if you're new, welcome. I hope to earn your subscription today. So in today's video, what are we doing? Let's spin you around a bit. We've got the cement mixer all set up, ready to rock and roll. So we are getting the base in. Um, got all the sand down here. Uh, not sand, sorry, the ballast. Got uh, 16 bags, hopefully that's gonna be enough. Uh, if not, I have to run out to uh, B and Q, which luckily is only a 10 minute drive away. So if I do need any more, it's gonna be a quick jaunt down to there to pick some up. Um, but I'm hoping I've got 16 bags, uh, four and a half bags of cement, um, which should be plenty uh, on a four to one uh, mix ratio. So fingers crossed, we've got enough. And uh, let's get cracking. First job, I've just got to move the uh, little bricks out of the way of the uh, front of the pond. Um, they're just to stop Nala because she want <laughs> keeps wanting to jump in and as the uh, mesh and rebar is all down there, obviously you didn't want to jump in on that because you'll probably uh, twist her ankle or something. And typical aeroplane, always in the way when you need them. So I'm gonna pause you here, move the bricks and start the cement mixer. All right, I saw the bricks moved off the side. Uh, a few eagle-eyed viewers may uh, be able to see that I've actually dug it again ever so slightly deeper. Um, I've gone down by about another inch and a half just to make sure I've got enough uh, gap top and bottom around the mesh and that extra inch and a half deep filled up another blimmin eight bags of soil so I've now got more soil to get rid of but never mind better to get things right and worry about the soil later so that's all good to go let's get the cement mixer on. Well, that's the first mix on the go, at four to one. Um, I've got took the two bags of sand in there and just the half a bag of cement, just to start me off and see how we get on. Uh, and uh, yeah, and get this one all mixed up and we'll snap back to you. Right, that's the first two uh, bags in. I'm just uh, starting on the second mix. Got four bags in there this time. Um, but as you can see, I've covered up the uh, pond a little bit. Um, just to stop hopefully the cement uh, getting into the into the pond or as, as much as possible anyway but uh, yeah we'll uh, get this one on the go so I've got four bags of ballast in there and I'm going to put a whole bag of cement in there Trying to keep the cement obviously out of the pond, so makes a good makeshift cover that does. Just till the cement's mixed in a bit. It is blowing uh, towards the pond, and obviously we don't want that. So, yeah. I'll get the other half of this in, and then we'll get that all all mixed up. So I'll snap back to you in a bizzle. Well, that's where we are so far. Uh, so far, six bags of ballast in there. So I've got another another mix on the go, as you can probably hear behind me, and. Uh, We'll then get that one in. I'll probably need another few bags down that side because it's nowhere near up to the bottom drain yet. So we'll get that. Snap back to you in a bizzle. Well, that's where I'm up to at the minute. Unfortunately, as I probably expected, I'd estimated the bags uh, originally for the size I dug it before I uh, chiselled a little bit more off this side and another inch and a half off the bottom. So I think if I hadn't had done all that, I'd have been just about right. Pretty much spot on, but needs must. So I've got a whiz out to B&Q. I reckon I need another six bags to finish that off. Um, but I'm gonna get eight just to be just to be safe. Eight bags, two bags of cement, jobs are good. And, uh, Cause I'm out of cement now as well, but still saving me a bit of fibers left. Um, as well as the mesh I decided to buy a, 
a bag of the old fibres as well, can't remember if I've mentioned that before, but they've been going in as well and that should be just enough there for the last six to eight bags to go in there. So I'm going to whiz off, pick some more up and I'll snap back to you in a bizzle. Hey guys, so yeah, that time of the week again, comment of the week this week, uh, we've got two actually. Got this one from Therapy Animals and Pets. She said, such a helpful and lovely guy. Thank you, Jamie. Keep up the good work. We are all learning loads. Comments like that just, just make you smile. And after the day I've had today, I needed a smile. So thank you very, very much. Second comment of the week this week goes to this chap. Cracking channel. If you haven't seen his channel, go check him out. But uh, West Bromkoy says, nice update, Jamie. The growth on that chag is unreal, mate. Fair play. And uh, yeah, I mean, the chag will only be two years old this uh, early summer, late spring. Um, and for being 50 centimetres plus already at, you know, less than two years old, it's it's a huge chag. So, uh, yeah, fantastic. But uh, unfortunately, the reason why I needed a bit of cheering up today, um, I'll pop in a short clip now. It's not a terrible, terrible clip, but it is uh, unfortunately a dead fish. Um, so everybody that Dave's video that said uh, Eden's Grown Show, basically, that said number 16. Uh, there was quite a few people said number 16 has got a good chance of uh, becoming something special. Unfortunately, number 16 is no more. Um, yeah, I'll pop in the clip now. Well, gutted is an understatement. Uh, I took him out to uh, treat him for that little ulcer there. And he had a few raised scales here as well. So uh, I took him out to treat for them, sedated him, and yeah, unfortunately, he's been like this now for half an hour and he's not coming round, so I've been trying to revive him, trying to do all the tricks of the trade but no, gutted is an understatement so yeah, as you saw there, unfortunately it, it, I noticed it had a very small uh, ulcer um, it had a couple of raised scales on it, so I netted it up to have a look and yeah, it had a small ulcer, so sedated it, ready to uh, to treat put the treatment on and unfortunately being such a tight I mean you know we're, we're only talking sort of 10 cm um just unfortunately didn't come back round from the sedate um same dose I've always used um first fish that I've you know not been able to bring round from the old sedate so even people that do it on a regular basis it happens too so yeah number 16 is no more so Everybody else has got a much better chance now. So, uh, yeah, I am out of the Eden Growing Show. Oh, well, let's get back outside and get this concreting done. So we're back, and as you can hear, we've got another mix on. So we'll get that all done. And uh, once once all the concrete's in, I'll show you again. And, uh, we'll have a look, see. Right, so I'm just on the last mix now. Um, should fill this hole quite nicely. Um, I have got two extra bags. As I say, I've got well, uh, two extra bags anyway in case I need them. But let me spin you around and show you just before the end. And there it is, guys. And then you can see there, um, it's relatively thick. Obviously, you've got a full brick uh, down there. Uh, so, however thick a brick is. And then, look at now, there's a good four inches on top as well so it's a good six inches thick if not more so with the fibers I don't know if you can see that in the concrete there with the fibers in there as well um, that ain't going anywhere I mean that is probably the thickest concrete base I've ever laid um, but yeah that'll do me obviously I've, I've floated around the bottom drain it is going to be screeded uh, once the blocks and bricks and whatnot is all in anyway um, so I'm not too worried about the exact levels and the you know smoothness of it so but floated it around the uh, around the bottom drain to give that a nice smooth 
finish and uh, yes I have left the uh, top cap on but obviously I'm going to have it fiberglass so that will be coming off and I just thought if I leave that on there it will keep it nice and clean so fingers crossed that's done the trick and I can actually get it off <laughs> as the uh, concrete's going off but uh, yeah I'll snap back to you once it's in that's me done for the day absolutely cream bloody crackered um, just had a good hose down of the garden and um, got a few more bits to to put away but let's have a look in fact I'm going to spin you around it'll be a hell of a lot easier so there we go it's not perfect but it will do the job there's a good six six and a half inches of uh, of concrete in there so that will work nicely stuff's already started falling off the bloody back wall look snail shell don't matter once it dry I'll pick out anything I can and smooth the rest off but yeah Got a bit more uh, slop and whatnot over the bottom drain, but never mind. Clean that off. As long as I can uh, get the flange off, we'll be good. And uh, I won't know that till later. And I'll get it off either way. But yeah, giving the garden a good hose down. All the cement and whatnot has been washed off the grass. Cement mix is all clean, ready to go back at the back of the garden. All nice and washed out. So, uh, yeah, the fishies haven't been bothered at all with what I've been up to today. In fact, I think it's about time for some food. Yeah, well they, ain't, they certainly ain't bothered that I've been mixing concrete here all day, are they? Happy hungry fish. So that's good. I can't get into the filter house right this second to tell you what the temperature is. Uh, so you have to believe me when I say it's around 11 to 12 degrees. That's then one's fed. These ones probably won't come up for food while we stood here, so we'll bugger off and let them munch theirs. And the fry. Sun's been out again all day today, so the fry vat is actually up to 15.2. 15.2. So they're happy. Get another few degrees in them, and they'll start growing. But uh, yeah, that's it. Spring is finally here. Everything's in bloom. Everything's going well. The bonsais are all sorted for the rest of the season. The concrete is now down. The fish have been fed, and Jamie is filthy, tired, exhausted, oh, and knackered. Mm. 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 Yep, shower time, and then get some bit bare neck is at the time. That took longer than I thought. It is 23 minutes past five. Oh, I've got cement all over me, watch. But yeah, so... No wonder I'm hungry. Um, yeah, so go get some dinner. Keep saying yet yeah, so, yet yeah, so, so. On that note, thanks all for watching. Like the video if you haven't already. And we will catch you all on the next one.